Hi. Just getting a little Tai Chi-ish in my mind. Now's the time to learn how to be fluid. Like water. I've heard a lot of people talk about water. The power of water. There's a reason for that. Did you know that humans can't live without water? You may think, in your mind, you can do a lot of things. You can take enough meth or whatever those drugs are that make people, like, fucking cracked out crazy and do, like, the, the, uh, I don't know what that is. I don't care. I don't, it's, it's like zombies. The, the zombie, the zomb, there, there, there's just too many zombies in this game for me to play. There's too many zombies. There's too many zombies. There's too much purge. There's too much energy. We all know, those who really know me, but see, that's the point. People don't really know me. I have never been able to fully be me around anybody. Man, I start to be me. People start to freak the fuck out. So I feel like I always have to wear some type of mask to dumb myself down. Now, that may sound elitist to you or braggadocious to you or whatever it is. And that is the reception people put on you about themselves because they look at anything that's different than them. They look at anything that's different than them. They're automatically like, you know, looking in a competitive type of way. Like, what is this about? Something here is not like the other one. No, because it's something new. It's something different. Some of you do this. I don't know how. I don't. Those of you who do the same shit over and over and over and over again for life, I could never be. I mean, I applaud. Somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to do it. It's just not me. I applaud people who could be at a factory or a place for like thirty five or for. I. I. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Listen. Call it what you want to, but you got to know yourself. You got to know yourself. I, you know, when I was doing temporary work, I tried, I tried that factory work for you. I, I tried that factory work for about like about two days and I was out. I was like, this shit's not me. I mean, you got to know yourself. You got to know yourself. What's up, Angela? Hey, girl. I know you know. You've seen, you, you, you've, you've seen me. You've seen bits of the real me. You know. Even, even, even to you, I, I could not show all of me. Well, neither one, because you know what? We're in an area where people get really, really, people are really, really clickish, and people get really, really nervous for something that they cannot control. That's my whole point. Forget the beautiful structure of it and the fact that, yeah, it was built by more. But the energy of the market house is one that this area wants to have control over some of the biggest treasures ever. And they want to control the history. And they want to put it in their own way and in their own form. Like they did the discovering or they did that when there's a lot of murder and death and ugliness. You want to talk about the pride, but you don't want to talk about the reality. The reality that murder and death and hanging and slavery and just all kinds of dirty, ratchet shit that is still in this area in a different way. See, the energy doesn't die unless you get rid of it. It's like a cancer. Don't like saying that word, but it is. But, you know, I guess, well, I guess here we go. We have, we have the balance of it. Funny thing about cancer, cancer can eradicate can eradicate the, sh the the fuck out of everything. COVID's like cancer. COVID doesn't discriminate. COVID doesn't care how rich you are, how poor you are, if you're white, black, blue, green, famous or not. COVID says I can I I can still make you my bitch, <laughs> and there ain't a goddamn thing you can do about it. Get all your scientists and put them together with me. And then you got the ones that say like, oh well, it's just all created. See, no shit. This this is you're you're thinking simple. You're thinking in such simple terms. Oh my god, I hate you so much. I did not want to do this. I did not want to do this. I did not want to come out like this. I did not because you know. I already have targets on my back. I don't, we all know it's not good when I have targets on my back. Not that I'm afraid. It's just that I have a tendency to respond. Um, 
I'm a Sith Cav Army brat. For those of you who are in the military, and an airborne brat, my dad, I don't know what my dad, my, well, you know what? My dad had to do what he had to do. He was learning. He was learning. He was learning how to protect his family. He was learning the system. And while he was learning, he was teaching his baby. He was teaching his baby. Woo! I learned from my father. That's why hell to the, I mean, you know, there, there's, there's, my, my, my fourth house is Jupiter and Leo. Shit. I am Jupiter Jones all day. But listen, and this is no offense. Some of y'all, it's just like with Pisces. Some of y'all don't get it twisted. Everybody is not everybody. I don't get along with all Leos. I don't. Uh, is it because it's an energy? Because there's an energy. There's an energy, and I get that. There's probably some people, probably now I get it, probably had that about my dad, probably thinking that my dad was braggadocious. Well, my dad was about doing that work, doing that shit. My dad has opened more doors for people in this damn community and never got any type of credit. Never. You never hear mention of him. So I understand that. Of course, I would be the next generation to do it. I mean, I lived that. I saw that. That's legacy. I get it. But that doesn't mean that that is what I'm going to continue to do to die for people who don't give a fuck. You got to grow up someday. You got to learn. This is the Sunday sermon. I don't think you're ready for it. I don't think you're ready for it because this is going to make you accountability. I mean, this is going to make you accountable too. This is where you can't just blame it on God. God going to fix it. Jesus going to fix it. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Doesn't work that way. Doesn't work that way. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. Maybe that Jesus is going to fix it. It's you. Maybe that God is going to fix it. It's you. You waiting for all these miracles to come on. It's not going to come through politics. It's not going to come through religion. It's not going to come through these crazy motherfuckers. You got to understand. Let me tell you something. I have seen the craziness. I understand. God, I hate you so much. I was not trying to do this work. I wasn't, you know, because I'm a Pisces. We do have a, this is true. I, well, all of this is true. But, you know, it's true. I used to get so offended. He would call me lazy baby. And I'm like, how the fuck am I lazy? I'm doing shit all the damn time. What you doing, babe? What you doing? What you doing? Fuck you. You know what? I'm like, I just wanted to just sit it out. Because... I saw this, man. I had way too many tears on this already. I saw, I've already seen this, been here, done that. Some people are going through some hard shit. And I hate it for you, but guess what? It's not my time on the edge with that. So we're all here. We're all here. No, we're not all here. You're where you are. You, you are where you are. And I'm where I'm at. And maybe perhaps it is not on the same level. Did you ever think about that? But people can't think about that because they need to grab on to things that they know that are familiar with when they are falling apart. That's why when you have a lot of people who feel like they're dying, they reach out to everybody. Do you see, you know how many times that I was dying that I reached out to anybody? <laughs> I'm like that. I'm like that elder that like I go off in the woods by myself. I don't want y'all to know that I'm go I don't because I don't need that energy because you know what? When you get people around you, you got all these people who say they're praying for you, but they're nosy. They're not really praying for you. They're praying to see what's going on with you so they can talk about you. That's a true fact. I don't give a I don't give a fly flip. See, I curved it. You know I wasn't one to say. And I didn't say it. To use a certain word a little bit too much. I think I don't really want to say that. That's tacky and creepy as fuck. How about letting the choir say amen, Ashe? And we're going to have a song while I get my thoughts together. The obstacle the earth people will put in our way. Hang on. Well. My shit. As long as they can think, we'll have our problems. But those whom we're using cannot think. They are the dead, brought to a simulated life by... I tried to tell you! Nobody listens to me till it's too late. Remember, you crucified me. I'm nothing. So what the fuck are you coming to me now for? This part, you better hear the damn song. Real talk. I... 
face at the light that works off the shames of deception and denial. Life is a trial to determine if you are innocent or guilty of the attempted murder of love. And I stand as prosecutor and defendor and neither. For I... Shout out to SDX, my godson! I have opened my own door to shine the light that my blood needs. No longer shall I or my children bleed for nothing. I, we bring something, and you bring what? My point. <laughs> Still to warn you, sister soldier, smile so innocent, spirit much bolder, eyes much older to the ways of the world. This precious once oh so innocent girl with a 357 magnum pin in her hand. Mortal man dare not mess with her, though many try, not realizing the masses of graves that lie behind her trail. Fools who fancy to fight her and fail. The tale, a tragic one indeed. For those those who would attempt to make this start a warrior bleed. Arrogance, ignorance, injustice, and greed are the only sea she needs to heed. A longing to unsheathe. War is like the air she breathes. Love is what she would like to believe in. But in a world full of sin, few can comprehend the depths of her heart. Instead, attempts to break her in parts of pussy, profit, pumps, and skin makes her angelic nature retreat within, releasing the devil's godchild, dressed in heels and a sexy smile that can seduce you or reduce you to nothing just by walking away after she plays your game of cat and mouse. Watch out. So it's a warrior in a black mini skirted suit, smooth as chocolate ice cream, nice as your last wet dream. Sweet as your first gentle kiss, and able to bring battle or bliss, depending on your intention. Speak now or forever forfeit your redemption. Too many deaths to mention has hardened her once beautiful soul. Too much bullshit has made her grow cold. What now only comes from the sword shine, a futuristic fighter in today's time. Fabulously fierce at terror and heels, showing the wicked... How does it feel? How does it feel? Combo of Pam Greer and the Black Mamba. Movements of that like a sexy samba. Doesn't matter the age. Sage always gets better with time. She allows you the fantasy of sipping the wine as she distracts you from seeing the verbal knife moving closer to your neck. Still call it cocky or confident. She shows you the respect of looking you dead in your eyes and showing you the sword before it strikes. Let's call for the truth tonight. No dice. Then slice. Next time, think twice before you mess with this little warrior. Bitch. So, I had to go from that. Uh, I had to go from that. I, I, I do, I say stuff like that. I do stuff like that because, you know, I have had to, I've had so many people who wanted to always have me have to go through them to justify what I do, to justify my art. Like I needed them. Like my art came from them. Like my credibility came from them. Like whether I make it or not will come from them. Fuck all that energy. That's where we all are at right now. You better understand. You better take your own. You better be sovereign about yourself. I'm not saying that there's not a greater force uh, that, that's bigger than us all that we're all a part of. I'm not saying that at all, but some of you are plugged into the wrong force. You got the wrong force, of course. You're like Mr. Ed, the, the, the talking horse. That was a lie and a myth. But you like lies and myths. You like lies and myths more than the truth because you can't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth. Like, you can't handle the truth. Like, well, what, what if Jesus came back as a black woman? Oh, you can't handle that, but you can handle the fact that he come back as a white man. Okay. I'm going to need y'all to go. Down the hall, to the left. To the left, to the left, down the hall. I'm not talking to your kind on this journey. You're not on my journey. You, you, you didn't make it to my level. We're on a different level. 
Those of you who just know you are the shit because, you know, your homeboys and everybody in your zip code say you are the shit, but you have just only been out in, in your zip code. You have barely been out in the pond, but you know the ocean and you know the sea. And when a touch of the sea and a touch of the ocean comes your way, what do you want to do? You hate every time. You're like your captors. You talk about being free, but you victimize yourself. Because when you're real ones who come to try to free your souls, you fight them more than you fight your oppressors. What the fuck is that about? Okay. I'm going to need you all to go two doors down to the left, to the left. Now, people are saying, like, this is separation. She's talking about separation right now. Haven't we all been talking about separation since the whole, since 2020 started? I mean, I'm, I'm talking about it right now. I came fully whole. I, I came trying to share my soul. And right off the bat, you tried to separate me like I was a little bit too much for your uh, little community. The community that my daddy helped with. What was that about? I don't know. We need another song. Let the quiet say, I'm Shay and I'm in. I'm Shay and I'm in. I say, I'm Shay because I'm so sick and tired of some of y'all. Him, him, him. You are hemming me to death. Him. That's what all you do is sing hymns. When shit happens, you sing, you know, you sit and sing hymns. You better put some fire in your hymns. Sing that we shall over. Miss me with that. I'm going to need you all to go two doors down to the left, to the left with that too. I don't, I don't know. When I was in Atlanta, I got tired of that. I was like, no, you know what? Y'all taking money on some old shit. I I say I, 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 I. Why do I say I? It sounds egoic that she says I so much, right? I, 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 I. Because, you know, I am the one who went through these experiences. Not you. I did. That's why I say I. People want to lie and say she says I. That's the ego. That's the ego talking. That's the ego talking. When really they're the distraction because they don't want you to see the ones who rarely are talking from experience, not from the mind or, in, or or just sitting on the fucking couch with some shit going on in their head. You better you better know the difference right now. You better know the difference between genius and crazy. Because there's a lot of crazy people out there that you can follow. And I'm not listen, I'm right there. I'm, there's a thin line between genius and insanity. I walk that shit like a wall. My name should be Wallander. Because I walk that shit like a Wallander. I can tell, but you want to know the difference between genius and crazy? Genius has fucking receipts. They have receipts. They have deeds. They have actions. Speaking of actions, many people just see a crazy, mixed up, fucked up Hollywood type, whatever, whatever, whatever. But you know what? When Flint, when Flint, when those poor people in Flint were starving just for the basic need of clean water, clean water, when you don't have good water, that affects everything about you. I had some fool that I know. And I know he calls himself a friend, but that mindset, you know, puts me at that, that you are a foe because you clearly don't get it. Well, just water is water. You know what? That's stupid, nigga. That's stupid. If we are concerned about our health right now, as some of you are, then you should be concerned about the fact that water makes a difference. Clean water makes a difference. Would you eat food that was prepared in a toilet? Would you eat food that was prepared in the toilet. When people are shitting and urinating all over the place, would you eat food that was prepared in a toilet? So why do you think drinking water, toilet water is better than eating food that was prepared for a, 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 you know, in a toilet? And getting back to Flint. When that situation was what it is and nobody was paying, not their leaders, not the community leaders, not the national leaders, not the state leaders, nobody. And these people were just dying in America. Not you politicians, not you athletes, not you rich millionaires. None of you motherfuckers did jack shit and you could have. And you could have. But someone did. Someone did. Someone cared enough to do that. It might didn't solve the whole thing, but it was a start. It was a good start. It brought clean water to some people who hadn't had clean water in ages. Say what you want to. Those Flint water boxes save lives. But you want to talk about shit like who's your favorite? Who you following? Who this? Who... 
what the fuck did that motherfucker do on a re- I don't give a fuck about your, 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 your numbers, your records, your top tens on the billboard. We all know, I'm in ra- I've been in radio forever. I, we, I know that shit's folk, that shit's fucked up and bogus. Those numbers be bogus as fuck. Those numbers don't make a person. Those numbers just numbers. I want to see the person. Don't impress me with shit, you know, that I impress me with impress me with some shit I can't do for myself. I have never cared about them. those of you who have followed me or been there with me in radio know that I have never given a goddamn about clout status or anybody. I, every everybody's equal opportunity to me. I don't give a fuck who you are. I cuss you out if you're wrong. I'm just that type. I'm just that type of chick. I don't care if you're the president or the pope. If you are wrong, I'm going to be, I'm going to be the bitch that says, you know what? Y'all saying the emperor got, got, got beautiful clothes. And I'm saying the emperor's butt fucking naked, but I'm the crazy one in my boots and shit like that. Dancing in my underwear while you all watch, you know, underwear commercials all the time. But it's different when I do it. Why is it different when I do it? Are you okay? Are you good? You up the dance in your under? Yeah, I'm being free. I'm freeing myself. Your church couldn't free me. Your community couldn't free me. Your groups couldn't free me. You fed the fuck off of me till there was nothing left. And when I lay dying on the floor and in the hospital, oh, some of you like you were nosy. I know the difference between really being compassionate about how I'm doing and, and, and being nosy. There's a difference when you know. When you know, you know. I've been through this before. You're supposed to know. It's some of you who think you know and you don't know. And I don't understand why you're doing the same thing and you're expecting different results. And when it comes to this phone thing, you know what? Let the choir sing for another song. Uh, I, 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 and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to break this up in spurts. It's a spoonful of sugar. It's a spoonful of sugar. That, uh, it's a spoonful of sugar that helps the medicine goes down. Because the medicine is going down right now, whether you want to see it or not. The medicine is definitely going down. I can't save you people. The only person I can save is myself. Whew, what do I want to do? Which one do I want to do? Which one do I feel? I feel like this because I again I feel sometimes I I I I <laughs> I don't give a f- y'all say I it is okay see that's the same thing it's interesting this shit is so weird to me how would the real ones can talk about their stuff and they demand to be heard like listen let me tell you my story because I lived it you didn't. But you're going to get mad at me for saying I, when I lived it, I went through it. I suffered this. I overcome. I did this. But see, it should be about we. We weren't in the motherfucking story. I was. How about let's set on that for a minute? You want to get to know me? Get to know me, bitch. Not the one in your head. Get to know the real me. And that has always been the problem. Sing, child. Y'all don't know me. So sick with it. I will not be tolerating this. In 2021, this shit is over. Bet that. Poisonous paragraph smashed from the crown in half. I need the soul system down and war that first class. Losing mics in a canis, causing ruckus like the aftermath. When guns blast, I'm the ground fast. It comes a verbal assault to a rhyme. Drill around like a shawl in the walker. I be the cold sucker on the microphone. Trying to put him in checker, just leave it alone. So tired of this gorilla man is gonna bound me, bring it on. I'm spinning and I'm hitting like an angel, ready for him. Guillotine, sword, shot, and samurai. Today is a damn good day for you to die. You are my enemy. I told you don't bother me. But now I don't really give a damn what you say to me. Because what the fuck, mama? I'm about to devour. Ready to rhyme, so I can be a shower. And when they ask you verbally carved your tombstone. And when they ask you verbally carved your tombstone. And when they ask you verbally carved your tombstone. Get it right, motherfucker. The name is El Show. But it's just a story in my head, right? the ink dripped down. Words bled from a page because the rage it got so great. The taste of blood from another started to make her salivate in her mind. The hate she was trying to put behind her beckoned her, taunted her, coaxed her to dive into the fires of hell. Doing something she's always known how to do well. And that was 
She wished for another way to prevail. Still teased by the whispers of the vile, her outer demon smile. As her rage raised like a hot summer day on a cool eve, her inner angel trying to balance out her conflicted nature urged her to breathe as she sees. How dare they not take heed? How dare they defile my temple of thoughts and pick fruit from my Eden without asking, then trashing, smashing, crushing my serenity with their arrogance, ignorance, insolence, and now violence? She's sick with this! With this, her body became tense from the ungrateful evidence that stood before her, and she confronted it head on, saying, You, you would violate me, the one who could have helped to set you free? But instead, jealousy and misery is all you see, and because misery loves company, you take out the sword to draw the first line in the sand. Then attempt to kiss my hand, saying, Hey, it's all love, as you steal a blow and swing to draw first blood. Swish! <laughs> and miss. Now it's my turn. Do I resist to take off the head of this demon and have you screaming like a fallen foe from Buffy the Vampire Slayer? To let a warrior, part-time savior, and in this game of life, trust I am a chosen and formidable player. But tonight, I choose to fight differently. Tonight, I choose to change the game. Things from this point on will never be the same. If pain is what you so strongly desire and require, then I'm obliged to fulfill your request and trust. I can make you bleed, and my hands can still be left bloodless. Watch. As with a flick of my wrist, I deliver the kiss of death. So let a warrior go on stealth with my swish, and I won't miss. Not even having to use my fists, already you're feeling the hit. As I stick and don't quit, so don't play with me, trick. I'm sick with this. I'm sick with this. Words spread from the page as she channeled her rage. She has seen so many dark days, but she was tired of those old dark ways. Besides, it seems folks never really paid attention to her anyway. Or else they would not have engaged her in such foolish child's play. So easy it would be for her to end their life today, but... That was not her God's way. So hearing thee say to walk away and let me have my say, she decided to come back to the light and write instead. Because she's sick with it. I'm sick with this. I know there's a part of him, and that's and that's the masculine, that's the masculine energy in his all, and I get that. And I'm not saying that there's not an ego in the feminine. There's an ego in everything. I mean, there's everything in everything. There really is. There's everything in everything. You just got to know the balance. You just got to know the balance. I live that. I walk that every day. So, um, like I said, I mean, I'm the, man, honey, I am the natural drug. I am nobody. If you need, you might need drugs to be around me, but I'm telling you, you still won't get it because I will, I will listen. I will either make your high the best high it will ever be or the worst high. If you don't come to me a bit natural, if you come to me full of shit and fall, I'm <laughs> two doors down to the left, to the left. It's got to be something naturally in you. It's got to be something natural in you. And you've got, I've seen too many people, even people who think they know me, who are too fucking judgmental. They want to tell me what I am doing. Well, you know what you're doing is, bitch, I know what I'm doing. I shouldn't say that. I need to stop saying that. That's just, that seems to be the language, though, that, that people understand more. It's like talking to these kids. Man, I tried to talk to these kids so nicely. I'm not talking about my kids. I'm talking about kids. I tried to talk to these kids so nicely, but they have grown up in a way that they've seen their parents do it and they've seen others do it. And this is how they've grown. I get it. I get it. This is what they've grown and to see. But, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking, well, you know what? I can just be me and still deliver kind medicine. But it's like always throwing good medicine in a deceased body, in a constantly deceased body that's being fed more of the disease than the medicine. Ooh, that was kind of profound what I just said. Can y'all stick with me on that? Can the church say amen and ashe on that? I'm telling you, you better know, you better have the balance. You keep talking about him, him, him. You better start saying she too. You better start recognizing mother, mother, the womb. You better start recognizing them. the ground, the ground. That's the earth. That's the womb. That's not him. That's not him. 
Okay? You're walking on her. That's not him. Okay? Can you like, see, can, you, can we like get to that balance part yet? Can we get there? While you keep saying him, 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 and something outside of you, that's why you can't really see inside of you. That's why you're going through so much because you really don't see where your healing comes from. And you're waiting on this man or this masculine energy to do it for you when it's a her you have got to come to terms with. You walk on her every day, but you don't acknowledge her. How many times do you say him and she never hears you say her? And you think she's a pissed the fuck off? to do all this for you and you don't even recognize her oh my god you goddamn right I'm channeling like a motherfucker and the motherfuckers that be fucking mother oh Jesus whatever the name you want you better get the energies right Y'all stuck up on this masculine and shit, and it's going to take you out the back door you going to be praying for him 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 and you going to die Maybe at the end you might be like, well, I'll be damned. I was wrong. Do you have to get there, though, to see it? I guess. I don't know. I'm out of that store. Because, you know, in a way, if you want to go there, he was like, baby, no, 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 no. You can't. You're not going back. We're not doing this again. And he's right. We're not doing that again. We're not doing that again. And I take it upon myself. I got too plugged in. <sighs> to trying to fix the disease I didn't create. When those who were walking on me were the ones. Damn. Mother is a loving goddess energy, or you all will be dead a long time ago. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just I'm just saying. She will listen to the right one. Uh, you like to deflower your goddesses. You like to defrock them. You like to display them in submissive terms. One chick, and I don't know what, and, and so this is something going on with her. This is her own struggle, and I wish she would say it, because she uses the word submissive so much, like goddess is submissive. Honey, that must be you. What are you submitting to? What is it with you that you can't even look at yourself and realize that you're talking about yourself? Because please believe me, God is not submissive. That is not goddess energy. Goddess is like, goddess is like, think about Hathor and Venus. Goddess is like, I want things beautiful. I want things lovely. I want things happy. I want things to feel good. I want to feel good. I don't want to feel drama or, or uh, I know that there will be growth. You know, nothing is per we get, we got to grow. So that's the chat. We got to grow. Nothing's going to be perfect. We got to grow. So there's going to be a yin and a yang, a yin and a yang. It's a give and a take. You got to have the balance. You got to work on that balance, but that submissive shit. That's always, a, that's been always a word that triggers me. And that's for men and women. Y'all got this submissive shit. Like you got to throw that word out. Because the the people before you, well, not before you, but the ones who've been controlling you, who've been mind K altering you, have been putting that submit, submit, submit. I mean, we're looking at everything. Everything has to work. Submit, 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 submit. And I'm the only one going like, am I the only one noticing that? That there's every, every button is making you submit. Mind programming is a hell of a thing. So, uh, one more song. And then we're going to wrap it up. <laughs> I hope you got something out today. I, this, this, was going, this was going one way. My intentions, that's the whole thing about now. You can intend to go one thing and then you do something entirely else. But I'm in line with what it is. This, whatever I said today was uh, what I was supposed to say. Trust me, it is. Why are you not? Uh... I'm avoiding. I know. I do that. Um, 
we're getting ready to have some very interesting times. Very interesting. And depending on how you look at it, um, I get it. An elder back in Atlanta used to say that word interesting. I say the word interesting too much because interesting denotes that I have interest in it. And you don't have interest in it. You are aware of it, but you don't have interest in it. You know the difference. Got it. Got it. See, see how it comes from a circle. Got it. Uh, we're 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 getting ready to have some very um, revealing times, revealing times on a lot of things. But these are going to be the things that you needed to see one way or the other. These are going to be the things that you needed to see to break you out of the illusion that everything that you've been raised up on is a lie. Has been a lie. We cannot take the lie into this next movement, into this next energy, whatever this is, all I know is we cannot take, people have to be who they are. Whoever they are is coming out and you're seeing, you can either accept it or you, you don't have to deal with, and you have a choice. You have a choice and do not even dare put it in the same category as white people trying to say, well, that's how we feel about blacks. First and foremost, stop saying, go back to your country. Number one, we can't go back anywhere because all our passports are shut down, including yours. Secondly, this is not your goddamn motherfucking country. Do you realize how stupid you are to keep saying, go back to your country, go back to your country, you hear Billy hypocrites oh gosh that was harsh true but harsh with your immigrant asses you were immigrants you came here this was never your country Christopher Columbus didn't discover something that was already here from day one you co-opted you stole you gave to seize. You tried to neutralize. You took. You raped. You robbed. You murder. And then you justify. Where's the lie in that? Time for the truth to rise. But you got a problem with me because I say it. And because I see it with my own eyes and speak it. But I am the lie then I'm going to need you to miss me. Go, go to, to, why are you watching that? Why are you watching me? Because I don't give a fuck about what you're doing. Listen, I'm not the one you want to fuck with. I'm Saturn's kid. You better, with your think you know everything as, and y'all think you into that shit. You know, and I'm talking to some of you, some of you, some, some of you cocker sword wizards and all that. I'm talking to you. You know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to some of you. I suggest you do a little bit more digging on what Saturn is about, all about. Jupiter too. But really Saturn. Saturn's kid. Oh, God. You don't want to fuck with Saturn's kid. Even Saturn knows that. Even Saturn's kid know that. And let me say this. And I know some of you don't get it because you're not into astrology like that. And I don't care. That's okay. It's all right. Everybody to everything. Do whatever gets you there. But to the ones who get it, do the math. Can't make this shit up. My Mercury is in Aquarius. My Midheaven is in Aquarius. My Chiron is in Aquarius. Chiron is winning. So is Cap. Oh, Lilith and Capricorn. Wow, my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. He has a lot of Capricorn in it. Ooh, that's, that's the workaholic. That's the workaholic. That's the workaholic. I'm a workaholic, too. I have different modalities on how I work. You know. You know, the whole... Men are from Mars, women are from Venus type of thing. You know, it is what it is. So anyway, <laughs> working through that. Working through that. Submissive, I am not. I have any type of any type of issue where I feel like I'm being controlled in any type of way. I have a, a visceral response if I feel like you're trying to pin me in a corner. Why? I don't, I'm not exactly sure. Because I grew up, I, 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 I'm saying I again. Yes, I say I again, and because I, I can feel I see that she goes saying I, 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 I. But it is my story. Do I put you in my story when you weren't in it? 
Is that what you want me to do? And people do want you to do that. They want you to put you, put them in your story when they weren't in it. What the fuck is that about? What is that about? Why come I can't tell my story? That I live. Why do I have to listen to your story? Especially when, number one, your story is boring as fuck. Number two, your story ain't even your story. Number three, I could shred that shit all through your lives just like that. But I let you live and just walked away. But number four, you wanted to come after my ass. Because you felt slighted because I didn't dance the way you wanted me to dance. Number five, I'm not that bitch. <laughs> okay. 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 I got to switch up the energy. Oh, we got hot. I got to switch up the energy. I can hear it out. Babe. How you doing? You doing good? I am doing good. You seem a little hot. You seem a little mad. I'm not. I'm good. I'm shedding. I'm purging. I'm being truthful with myself. Having a good time with myself. Embracing my own health. Health. My own health. I am loving the fact that I have uh, uh, literally, you know, this is this is a this is a uh, well, we talked about that when I died several years ago <laughs> on, a, on, a, on a cold December night. Uh, oof. And I first saw him, it, that, I don't know, whatever. It's interesting. People make they say people make their deals when they are afraid they're gonna die. I wasn't making a deal. I didn't care. I was just like, yo, what's up? What took you so long? <laughs> it's true shit. It was, one of, it was one of those, it was one of those looking at each other. Now, could I have been hallucinating? I don't know. Some tall, some tall, in the middle of the night, you know, some tall, black, Phoenix, stock looking figure you know, or whatever, snake, I don't know, snakes, I don't know what the fuck it was, I mean, like, I am like, I'm, I, I am in the netherworld by this time, you know what I'm saying, I'm aware, I'm like, I, I, I'm like two, I'm like one foot in and, and, and two feet out, I'm in the netherworld, so, and I'm, and so I'm seriously, this is all true stories, you can't lie, like, hook me up to all kind of lie detector tests on this, and it would be like, she is not being deceptive at all, and so, you know, it's like, it, it just came like, just showed up, like, hello, didn't say hello, but just like, looked at me, and I'm like, looking at it, and it's looking at me, and I'm looking at it, you know, we're like, and we're starting to mirror each other. And I mean, I'm really like, yo, what's up? Because I didn't care. I was done. People didn't know it. People just knew, people who kind of were paying attention to me knew I just kind of like disappeared for like six weeks. Then I was just like, I don't have time. I don't, I don't want to do none of this. I don't want to do none of this. I don't want to do none of this. I'm not up for this. But apparently, we're here. Because both of us needed to do this. So, yeah, this is a karmic thing. It is a karmic thing. We're about to make all the astrologers go crazy because they've been reading and reading. Y'all be some hating bitches. I don't know what that's about either. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's a control. Not everybody. Some of them be getting it and some of them be so off. And I'm like, and I'm trying, and I, I really do keep trying to tell you, you know you are reading yourself, right? Every person puts themselves in their reading, but they don't really look at themselves. This is what I'm trying to tell you all to do. Before you plug into all, even me, before you plug into all these astrologers telling you what you should do and what did it did it you better plug into yourself. This stuff is just for you. It's not for everybody. It's not. This is not a collective shit, but it is. But initially, this is not a collective shit. This is a personal connection. You got to get a personal connection. You've heard that so many times, whether it's God, Spirit, Blue, you got to get a personal collection. You can't connect through this, that, that, that. No, 
You got to get a personal connection and then you will know. And when you will know, no one can be able to shake you from that shit. Some of you are like, I know, I know. I can tell you don't know just by the way you're acting. Because you're still like waiting on Jesus to fix it. That's when you lose all your faith when it does when he doesn't. He's not supposed why is he supposed to fix your problems? This was a lesson for you to learn. This was a lesson for you to figure out how you can fix it yourself. I hate, I'm being so vain right now. I don't like the fact I got these bags under my eyes. I'm looking crappy. I need to be looking in my in my mind, even though it's like you are beautiful. And I'm like, yeah, I can look better. I'm a bit vain. This doggone tooth man. I told you one time before, you know, people who still don't get it, like, why well, that tooth out? Sometimes I put, sometimes I put my, uh, sometimes I put my mold in, sometimes I don't. I, because I, me being me, because I crack nuts <laughs> with my teeth. <laughs> you know, I, I crack nuts with my teeth. And all of my baby teeth never came out. I don't know what the reason, I drink a lot of milk. I don't know if milk does the body good. Honestly, I don't know if milk does the body good or not. I drank a hell of a lot of milk when I was young. And what well, I ended up on the hole was a whole bunch of mucus, you know, where and an, an addic- and an addiction to cheese, which is not really great for my body. I feel bloated right now because I got a lot of cheese in me. So I got to get rid of. Although uh, I try to even in getting I said this one time, but I know I'm jumping all over the place. I do apologize sometimes when I do this. I have my gym. Those of you, it's a living astrology thing again. Those of you who have Gemini in your first, who have Gemini, have Gemini friends. I have Gemini anywhere in your charts. You know, Gemini's will jump, 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 jump. It can all be about one thing, but they just jump, 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 jump all over the motherfucking place. I don't know. It's a Gemini thing, so I apologize for that. It can drive you motherfucking crazy, but I get it. So I get it. You know, I get it. That's why I can deal with them to a you know to a certain point because I have that in myself. I have to check that in myself. So I apologize for the jump. But anyway, as I was trying to say, you gotta make this journey personal, man. You gotta make this you gotta it's so good to smell the roses when you're here. That might be the point for today. It's so that's the point. That's such a Gemini Mercury thing to do. It's so good to smell the roses while you're here. You have so many people distracting you from smelling your roses, for accepting your roses, for wanting to enjoy your roses, your good time, your good life, your good health. They want you to focus on, but the world is horrible. And this person just died. And that person just, and uncle so-and-so didn't have, didn't, didn't, didn't die. And aunt so-and-so, and cousin so-and-so, and Bobo around the corner, and blah, 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 blah. And it never ends. It never ends. And, 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 and the dummy president done did this, and da 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 and Biden, and Kamala, and da 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 Now, one thing I've learned is that you can't believe, people, look at people right now. People clearly, in my mind, don't know what the fuck they want because they contradict everything. They call themselves Christians and full of love when, you know, like, look at that type of Christian. That fuck, that shit's some fucked up, crazy. But I told you all before, you got to watch people. You got to watch people who constantly talking about drinking of the blood and eating up the body in the name of Christ. That's some cannibalistic shit. No, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And with the Pope, you know, I don't know if this was like an Archer thing or whatever, whatever I saw, saw whatever. That's a, no, no, no. It's like Sharknado thing. But does he really make you guys kiss the ring? I mean, when you meet the Pope, is that really what you're supposed to do? Kiss the ring. So you kiss the ring of the white man who kisses the foot, the toe of the black Madonna daily. Even the Pope knows. Kiss my, I don't kiss your ring. You kiss my foot. You recognize, you respect me, bitch. But he can't let you know because of all these Canaanites or whatever they are who want to control. He respects he respects the black woman because he doesn't want to like go severely to hell. <laughs> he's trying to he's trying he's trying to balance his way into hell. But you know, you know all these holidays and shit. You know they all came out of y'all. Come on, man. Like, come on. I mean, but I get it. You're in the. You're stuck in a role. That's you know. You play your role. You do your part. I'm just saying. 
I find that funny. Anybody in these in this day and age that y'all were really like, go, I'm not. Don't expect me. Respect or no. Don't ever expect me to kiss the ring of this man if I ever meet him. I'm going to let you know right off the bat. I'm going to be like, how are you doing? If we don't shake hands, fine. Or I'll, uh, you know, like, I'll, how to say, curtsy, I'll nod my head, bow, and we'll bow to each other. But if you think I'm going to kneel and kiss the ring of the man who kisses my foot every day, y'all out your motherfucking minds. Y'all got me twisted. It's so good to smell the roses while you can. It's so good to smell the roses while you're alive. Because how can you smell them when you're dead? How can you enjoy when there's no life ahead? How can you move forward when you're down in the ground? Who's really around? Your friends that were sucking you dry and building you up just to a lie? Or just you? Cold. Lost in your dreams that were deferred. And now, you can't even hear the birds just dirt I'm going to enjoy my roses and I don't care what nobody says because it's my life and I live here okay with that being said let's have a happy song how about that what are we gonna, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What y'all wanna dance song? Give me a song. What y'all wanna dance? What you what, what you wanna dance to? What you wanna see me dance to? What you want? Give me give me a, give me a happy song. Let's go on a happy song. They're gonna flag me anyway, but I'll put this stuff up on YouTube. Uh, be, before hopefully before they 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 flag the music. <laughs> everybody everybody in the entertainment industry is going like out of their minds. I can't. I can't. I don't. I don't. I don't. That's that's the problem right there. Like I said one time before, I do not like the. I do not like this Sam. I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like this entertainment game. You know me, and they know my name. They don't want to say it, but they know where they steal from. They don't want to admit it. They never will. I don't expect that. Just don't come for me on some dumb shit because I choose to live my life, my way, my industry. And I don't want you apart. I don't want that energy in it because you're a foul. You're fake. How do you have a label that you don't even push your own people? What is your agenda about? What is that really about? What exactly is clout? And again, with this voting thing. At this point, I don't give a damn who you vote for. Because whatever is going to... That much I'm realizing is true. And it's scary. But, uh, you know, you're going to do what you're going to do. I have to release control. See, that's a part of me. I do. I have to release control. Like, let it happen. Whatever, whatever happens, it needed to happen. They needed to see it. They needed to see it. You don't need to block a thing. I'll just put this option out to you. Voting is like using your voice. Voting is your voice. However you want to look at it, however you want to rep it, you're going to have the voter naysayers and detractors going to say a whole bunch of shit. I don't give a fuck what you think or say. When the truth is, voting is your voice. In every kind of way. You have a vote in your own life. You better take stock in your own life. You better learn to speak up for your own life. And for your own right. And stop thinking other people are going to do it for you. And stop thinking other groups are going to do it for you. And stop thinking politicians, police, whoever is going to do it for you. You first must have to learn to do it for yourself. So voting is using your voice. Whether you like this person or not, maybe it's a vote against a person more so. Maybe it's not with somebody as much as like, well, you know what? I don't want this. I don't like this, but I don't want this. Or bringing it local. Look at your net. Look at your look. Look at your state leaders. Look at your local leaders. Look at your community leaders, your county leaders, your city leaders. These are the ones who affect your policy. Your 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 policy right here in your backyard. 
In your backyard, we talk about water. We've always, we've known for a long time we got doo-doo water here. Shit, every time I would go, you know, I would used to like wonder like, why is it I, I, I shower like four or five times a day and I still smell, man. Is it me? Is it me? Is it me? And then I go out of the state and realize it's the water. It's the motherfucking water. And people have gotten used to the water. They're just, they've gotten so used to the water. They're just like, well, you know, it's just how it is. I got that when I kind of first got here. And it's like, well, I mean, how can you get used to this? There's toxins in here. And toxins came about when there started to be that separation of you had two different companies. You had two different companies. Uh, the water was coming from two different places. I guess somebody's playing money games, power games, whatever. I don't know what happened. It always, it always comes down to money and politics. It always comes down to money and politics. And then the water went bad. And then people got, you know, you know, you, you got people who leaders who's got these, you know, these, these interest groups in their pockets and you keep electing them and you wonder why nothing happens there by the grace of God. We could be Flint. Why do you think water is so important to me? Really? You're asking me. Why is water so important to me? You're missing it. But you want me to pay attention to you. You got the next greatest song, do you? But I'm looking for who's saving, who, I'm looking for who's saving lives. How can these babies, like, not die from the shit that dumb, greedy adults did? How can we clean the water? How can we fix the water? How can we, like, not be the next Flint? I'm looking ahead on some real shit. And y'all looking at some clout. Some IG motherfucking clout. Missing you with that bullshit. I can get clout any goddamn time I want. I told you from the very beginning that I was going to start a movement. When this shit started, I told you I was going to start a movement from my bedroom. Did it. I told you I was going to start a movement in my pajamas. Did it. In my t-shirt and pa- anything I do. Did it. Got the man. Did it. <laughs> Shit. That part though. Oh my God. I'm impressed with myself. I wish I could take the credit. But actually, it was an arranged marriage. <laughs> or something. It was it was it was a lot. Alignment is alignment is real as shit. Alignment is real as fuck. So, when you get that alignment that works for you, it may seem crazy to everybody that's around you. Everybody, because they can't see your story. They're not in your story. This story is for you. This lesson is for you. This journey is for you. This blessing is for you. It's not for everybody. People want to share and get in your blessing, but they did not have, uh, uh, they did not nurture your garden enough to be fed the blessings from your garden. They didn't do anything. They, they weren't, you know, they didn't help nurture the grapes. So they don't get the wine. Everybody want to come in like, I want some wine. There you go with eating that body, eating that body of Christ and drinking the blood again. Oh, my niggas. We won't have none of that. Believe that. Nigger is not. A, and that is a word that is not color specific because we all know we have white niggers all in America. Just look at the White House and the Republican Party. Woo! I'm just saying, you are what you speak. You are what you claim others to be. How would you know it unless you are it? You made it. You perpetuate it. You good, loving, murderous, lying Christians. You pedophile ass, well, fuck your own daughters ass Christians. Have no you you have no respect for women black or otherwise, but definitely you really got a problem with black women Christians. You motherfucker gonna catch the hell of the wrath of Lilith, Venus, Hathor, Segment, and Nana. All the divine mothers. Oof. What? Kali, most of all. How is that heat feeling right now? How's that heat feeling? You can't control it, can you? No, you can't. Miss me with that bullshit. People, listen, real talk. I'm getting ready to, uh... Anyway, do you? 
I'm getting ready to go and get uh, some. I know, I know what I want to see. I, 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 I do Sunday sermon, but we're sharing here. We're sharing, and I love it. I love it. I love it. I, you, Edward, you know, I need some. I am missing our Starbucks, man. I am going to get me some Starbucks today. I serve it. I've got roses. I got Starbucks. This is in the last several weeks. This is uh, I'm, I'm, this is this weird, but there's a message in this. I'm showing my growth and the fact that you have to embrace change. This is something that uh, my detective friend that was working on my husband's case, he had said long, in the very, very beginning that I needed to like go out and range and get this shit out of my system. But I couldn't. I mean, I couldn't. You know, when my husband was murdered, I, I just, I just. I just couldn't. And I think I told you guys, remember when I really finally decided, you know, these motherfuckers are crazy on some purge shit. I'm really having to bring my daddy and my mommy, since both my dad and my mom are in the military. I'm not like some of you, I'm just going to pray. I'm not, I, I, I'm just going to pray and wait on the Lord. But you calling me though. You waiting on the Lord, but you calling me. How's that? How'd that work? What's that about? What's that about? What's that about? What's that about? You pay your pastor, but you call me to work. You pay your pastor, but you call on me to do the work. How'd that work? How'd that work? You pay your pastor, but you call on me to work. How'd that work? <laughs> but, I'm the bad, but, but, but I'm the but I'm Lucifer. Okay. Anyway, so. To get this is to get this anxiety out of my system. He said I need to go on the range, and you know I remember I told you when I went to the uh in the gun shop, realizing that I'm just gonna have to like do everything I can to protect myself. I'm like I'm not taking nothing for granted right now. Um, I, I just luckily ran into the right person that was for me, and he has been teaching me this almost like a Tai Chi type of type of tape. Man, tribe is tribe. That's the thing about alignment. It will align you to your tribe. So when you know somebody is your tribe, you in it. And when you know somebody is not, you just like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. If some of you feel cut off, remember, you did it. I tried to take you with me, but you wanted to drag me into something else that was more about you and was not in my alignment. So I'm going to have, I'm leaving you to like, you deal with that. I can't deal with that. That's not, that doesn't resonate with me. See, you're either going to bring me something happy and then, okay, I, you know, one of those distractions. One of those distractions. I get it. Anyway, um, anyway, you either gonna bring you either bring me something that's making me smile, or you're not in this journey with me right now. You either bring me something that actually is helping me to grow, or because I'm not dealing with anything that's pulling me down. This is not the time. This is not the time to deal with people who will pull you down. Who can't figure out their own shit, but they want you to be in their shit with them. This is not the time for that. I don't apologize. It's survival of the fittest. I didn't make the rules. I'm just stating them. Why you want Why do you want to always blame the person who's doing right now? I'm just like getting distracted. Let me just get this out of the way. So anyway, bottom line is, this is me going to the range. As one of my friends says, baby. Those were all body shots. This was my first time going to the range. I'm loading 50 clips. As I said, all body shots. Child, you a beast. Remember that. I love you. And you don't have to love me back. But if you bring bullshit, remember I'm learning. I'm not even talking. That's not even my bodyguard. My bodyguard's not gonna let you near me. Protects me like I'm his grail. <laughs> True story. Anyway, have a good day. Hope you enjoyed it. Interesting time. Revealing times. Keep your eyes open. Your ears open. And by all means, take time to enjoy the roses. Because that energy is what's going to lead you to your joy.
Thank you, baby. I love y'all. I love yourself more. Let these crazy people go.